Welcome to your EMG video instruction manual for gas blowback products. This video covers basic operating procedures, safety precautions, and some helpful tips for getting the most out of your product. For specific features and functions unique to your model, please refer to the video with the same title as your product's name. First, a quick review of the basic safety rules of Airsoft. One, protect your eyes and face when using Airsoft products. Two, always treat an Airsoft gun like it's loaded. Three, keep your magazine out and your safety on when not in use. Four, use gun bags or gun cases for storage and transport. And five, have a safe shooting space. With that out of the way, we can move on to how to use your EMG gas blowback rifle or pistol. The common factor between these products is that they all operate on gas, which is stored in the magazine. Some guns use 12 gram CO2 cartridges for power, and some guns use a propellant like green gas. Knowing which you have has a lot to do with how you'll go about recharging your magazine. So pay attention. Gas magazines are filled by inserting the nozzle of a canister into the fill valve, typically located on the bottom or back of the magazine. When filling, align the can so that the nozzle inserts straight into the valve. Any tilt could not only waste gas, but also possibly damage the O-rings which keep the valve from leaking. The gas in these cans is heavier than air, so it's important to fill with the can inverted. Now, push down with the gas and up with the magazine. When you do this, you're allowing the green gas to flow into the magazine. You can usually hear the liquid boiling inside the can as you fill. This is normal. You'll know when the magazine is full when you can't hear any more boiling. Once you're done filling, listen for any hissing coming from the magazine. Hissing means there's a leak, and this should be fixed before continuing to use it. How to fix leaking magazines will be covered in a later section of the video. Gas blowback airsoft guns are very temperature sensitive. This means that your climate can have a huge impact on FPS, cyclic rate, and the reliability of your airsoft gun. Gas also cools down as it expands. The faster you shoot, the colder the magazine gets, and the less efficient it becomes. Knowing this is key to getting the most out of your gas blowback gun. So be sure to let your magazines warm up between uses. If you're worried about temperature affecting your game, you might want to consider using CO2-powered airsoft guns. CO2 performs consistently through a wider range of temperatures when compared to green gas. But that also means that once you install a CO2 cartridge, you're not getting it out until it's completely spent. Trying to remove a CO2 cartridge that isn't completely empty can be very dangerous. Do not attempt to remove the cartridge unless you're 100% sure it's depleted. Even then, keep it pointed in a safe direction, away from your face when you do take it out. To replace a CO2 cartridge, you first make sure the magazine is empty. Do this by pressing on the gas release valve on the magazine. If no gas comes out when you do this, that means the cartridge is safe to remove. Next, unscrew the threaded cap on the bottom of your magazine. Replace the CO2 cartridge, inserting it so the rounded end points out, and the screw cap back in. Tighten until you hear a hissing noise, indicating that the CO2 has been punctured. Keep tightening the cap until the hissing stops. Do not tighten any further. Over-tightening can damage the magazine. Most gas magazines have what's called a double stack design, meaning that the BBs are stacked in a staggered pattern. Because of this, you need to make sure there are no gaps in the pattern. Gaps can sometimes lead to feeding issues and cause a jam. We recommend pulling the slide or charging handle back on your GBB before inserting the magazine. This is easier on the internals. Being too violent when inserting your magazine could cause damage. After chambering around, you should be good to go. If your gas gets low, you'll get progressively weaker shots, followed by a hiss. Sometimes a gas gun can short stroke when it's low on gas. This can seem strange, but it's normal. All right, time for some more safety. One, do not let your gas canisters get too hot. Leaving them in a car on a sunny day can be enough to make one burst. The contents of these canisters are flammable. Two, only use gas guns in a well-ventilated area. These fumes are not harmful in small amounts, but inhaling a lot of gas directly can cause injury or even death. Three, do not dispose of these cans in a fire. Again, flammable gas under pressure. Four, do not use any gas that is not designed for airsoft in your gas magazines, with the exception of propane, which we sell adapters for. 
Now for maintenance, gas guns require frequent lubrication and cleaning to function properly. Knowing how to field strip your gas gun is important to keeping it shooting right. Refer to the video with the same name as your gun for basic disassembly instructions. Aside from keeping the barrel clean, also keep the action clean and free of debris. Only use 100% silicone oil for lubrication and protection of your GBB. Quick note about lubricants. Double check that your lube of choice has no petroleum distillates. Petroleum distillates can degrade the rubber of your components of your airsoft system, like O-rings and buckings. Stay on the safe side by purchasing your silicone oil only from an airsoft retailer like evic.com. Every time you finish using a GBB, it's a good idea to field strip the gun and wipe the rails with a paper towel or cotton cloth. Then, reapply a light coating of 100% silicone oil or silicone spray, especially on shiny surfaces. You should clean your inner barrel often to maintain optimal performance. Dirt and debris inside your inner barrel will degrade accuracy and could cause a jam. Use an airsoft cleaning rod with a patch of paper towel through the end. Apply a little bit of silicone oil or silicone spray and swab the barrel, rotating the rod as you move it. Repeat this action until the paper towel comes out clean. Then, run a dry patch through the barrel to remove excess oil. You can prolong the life of the O-rings in your magazines by keeping them lubricated. While green gas does contain some silicone, it's never a bad idea to add a bit more. You can do this by adding a drop of oil into the gas chamber. This is done by depressing the valve and putting a little bit of oil into the nozzle opening. If you're using propane, make sure you add a drop of silicone into the adapter every few fills. Unlike green gas, CO2 and propane don't contain lubricants, so you'll need to do that yourself to get the best performance out of your GBB. When storing your green gas magazines, make sure to leave just a little bit of gas in them. This will help keep the O-rings and seals fresh and lubricated. Dried out seals will cause your magazine to leak gas. CO2 magazines should be stored completely empty. So make sure you don't leave a CO2 cartridge in your magazine when it's not in use. The higher pressures of CO2 cartridges can quickly wear out the magazine. To fix a leaking mag, first, identify where the leak is coming from. Try applying a few drops of oil to the area and let it soak in. After a while, try to gas the mag again. If it's still leaking, a valve may need to be tightened or replaced. Evic.com sells this GBB valve key for the purpose of replacing valves. For more info, make sure you watch our video on how to fix leaking gas magazines. If you have further questions, make sure you watch the video with the same name as your product. In there, we'll cover unique features and functions of your specific EMG GBB. Otherwise, you can always contact us by visiting our website at evic.com. Remember, play safe, play responsible. We'll see you on the field.